In today's video, we're going to be talking about the first time I almost got into a fight. To start this story off, I was in elementary school, probably around the 4th or 5th grade. And so this took place in the cafeteria, it was lunchtime, and of course my chubby ass was in line, ready to give me some mini corn dogs, about to buy two or three orders of them bitches. And so I'm standing in line, my heart's racing, my mouth is watering, I just can't wait to eat, my stomach is growling. All I can think about is just pouring ketchup all over them corn dogs and just shoveling them in my mouth. When all of a sudden, this fat sloppy motherfucker comes behind me and he tapped me on my shoulder. Now I'm in the middle of daydreaming about my food, so I was kind of thrown off and I was like looking around like lost, like who the fuck is touching me? Like nobody talks to me, who wants to bother me right now, you know? This is my favorite part of the day and somebody is ruining it for me. So I turned around to see who it was and like I said, it was a fat sloppy motherfucker. I'd never seen him before in my life. And so he starts talking to me and he goes, hey, my girlfriend told me you're talking shit about me. I was kind of lost, I was like, what? talking shit about you. I was like, I don't even know who the fuck you are. I've never seen you before in my life, dude. And he goes, yeah, bullshit. My girlfriend told me you're talking shit about me. If you got something to say, say it to my face. I just look at him. I'm just like, okay, like, I guess he thought I was getting an attitude or something, trying to blow him off. So he was like, what you say, you bitch ass nigga? Like, he was like, trying to get on my face, dude, you know? And I'm just standing here awkwardly still thinking about my food. I'm just like, what? I'm just like all confused. I'm not even paying attention to this guy, dude. Like, I'm just worried about food right now. This is all I'm worried about last time is food. Drama can happen later. Like, I just want food. So he keeps on insisting that I was talking shit about him. Then he asked me, he's like, let's go to the restroom. Let's go handle this shit. Like, let's go fight right now. I'm just like, I'm good. I'm trying to eat. Leave me the fuck alone, you fat ass piece of shit. Let me eat my mini corn dogs in peace. I don't know who the fuck you are. So I guess he just got tired of me blowing him off, like not listening to him. And he just tells me, he's like, yo, don't we'll talk shit again. I'm gonna whoop your ass. At this point, I'm already turning around the line, looking the Line, see how long it's taking, you know, try to make sure nobody skip my ass. Somebody skip me, then we're gonna have some problems. Somebody skips me a line, then we're gonna fight. Cause nobody skips me a line when I'm fucking hungry. Luckily, the line was the same, it was barely moving, but nobody skipped me, so everything was good. And I just like, I just heard them say that. I didn't even pay attention, I didn't even give them the time of day. I was just like looking forward, just, just trying to see what the fuck they got, you know, like trying to see what kind of food I'm about to get today. So, yeah, guys, that was the one time I almost got into a fight in school. Luckily, I didn't have to put no Mortal Kombat shit on that fat ass motherfucker, but it's all good because I got my corn dogs that day. I left the cafeteria happy and that's all that matters in life is food remember that all that matters in life is food thank you guys for watching my video hope to see you guys in my next video this has been too crucial peace